Well, it's another one of those winter mornings. As far as I know, it's about 30 degrees. Looks like there's water in the food. And the locks are frozen. Oh yay, I love frozen locks. Well, doesn't that look delicious? I know the ducks are gonna enjoy themselves in this weather. But what about the chickens? What do you think, girls? Want to come out to free range today? There we go. Everyone's just chilling up here now. Okay, so today I decided to add something on a little different because of the weather. There's not really any projects we can get done outside. So today I have a guest. Hey, here. And it, for those of you who haven't seen her in our videos before, this is Grace. Um, how, how how many videos ago were you last in? Uh, the one with the hat. So I should have brought scissors. <laughs> that was the one there. Yeah. Um, so today we're going to be answering the most Google questions about cats, because we both have cats. <laughs> Spirit right here is mine, and some of you may have seen Max in videos because Max likes to show up randomly. So, okay, so starting with why are cats, the first, the most Googled question is why are cats good pets? Mm. So it, I think it really depends on your lifestyle, like if you are busy, then they don't really need attention because they can entertain themselves with naps and just playing with cat toys. But they also do require attention, often like Spirit. He would die without attention. Of course, that's also the way he's been raised. He was raised being, like, p paid attention to all the time. But why do you think they're good pets? Well, they care about you. And people always talk about how dogs are the people that are the animals that save people and everything. Um... <laughs> But cats are also, cats also have really good smell and really good ears, really sensitive ears. And they care about you a lot. They know what you're feeling. They know when you're going to leave. Um, so, like, if something is wrong with you, then they'll sit on your lap or lay down with you or something like that. If they know that you've been with other animals, they rub on you to claim you as their own. And when, when we go away for a time and Max is somewhere not with us, then when we get back, he either is mad and walks away and acts like he doesn't care, or he wants more attention. But when we were away over the summer, um, our mom was sending us daily pictures of him and she took a video of him meowing in front of the door in front of the slider and she said say hi to Joel and Grace and he walked away because he was mad at us so um yeah they care about you a lot yeah and I heard someone say recently that cats attach to places and dogs attach to people which isn't false but at the same time it's not completely true 
because dogs, of course, dogs mostly do attach to people, but they also feel uncomfortable in um, unknown situations or places. And cats, uh, Spirit has attached to one person at the local med medical residence, where he just he will sit there all like for the entire hour we're there, and he just sits there and he's so happy. Like he'd much rather be sitting there with her than me. So. And, and I'm Max's favorite. He always wants to be in my room. He meows and scratches at my door if I don't let him in. So, that too. Why are cats mysterious? Um, they are really good at hiding pain. Um, but they also can be really whiny. And they mostly just really want to just sleep or hunt. And they, like, outdoor cats, they go away for some time because, you know, what do you think, what do you think Max does when he leaves? Well, he goes hunting and exploring, mostly hunting. Yeah, and Spirit just finds more places to hide from me. <laughs> and, like, I was looking for him for probably, like, ten minutes, and he was just in the corner of the yard that was overgrown. Because <laughs> he's a sneaky... Fat boy. Aww. And, but, I mean, there are a lot of animals that, like, animals, it's in their nature to hide pain because out in the wild, they wouldn't survive if they showed that they were in pain because even predators, like, there are always going to be higher animals than them that could go after them, so... Why do cats purr? That's a really easy question, but I'll let you answer it. <laughs> oh, well, actually, they don't always purr just because they're happy. That's or a huge misconception they, about they, cats. They also purr when they're annoyed. And um, when they're uncomfortable or afraid. Purring, like, if they're hurt, they purr because that helps them to heal faster, and that's why people who have cats, they heal faster as well. Yeah. Especially if it's a happy cat. <laughs> and dogs. Like, yeah. basically any animal yep. is... the If people have pets, they're healthier. So, purring is kind of like singing for humans or anything else that humans do to make themselves feel, selves feel good because, like, singing for ten minutes or more a day improves posture and lessens stress and hence improves sleep and all that stuff. I can support that. And, um purring for cats is l like that. It helps them heal faster. Um, and I'm sure it helps them be, um, fight off sickness more easily because, um, being distressed is bad for your, um, immune system. So, it, it's, it's like that. So yeah, keep that in mind. Next time you hear a cat purr at night, but not, it might be like that. It might not be because they're happy, but because they're stressed or anxious, so keep that in mind. Why do cats meow? Um, it's just communication. Yeah. And different meows mean diff have different meanings, like, they might meow because they're annoyed, they might meow because they're happy. They might meow because they want something. Yeah, that's the most common meow. Yeah. <laughs> if you hear your cat meowing at the door, you of course know they want inside. Mm-hmm. And or outside. And Max is a crafty kitty. Um, yeah, that's one of his tons of nicknames, but he he's well, he's crafty because he has his ways of getting inside and, and stuff, but um he also has his different meows, like he has this pitiful meow where he stand stands in front of the slider and barely opens his mouth as if he's not strong enough and makes a little and then sometimes he's like meow like when they want to get inside um and he's selective about that and then lately he's been walking around and meowing at you demanding that you sit down and give him a lap to sit on too so so why do cats need need oh need yeah um, I once heard when I was little that it was because, um, the cat that I was holding didn't have a chance to be around his mother for very long, 
But now that I'm a little more into animal stuff, I know that's not true because Spirit was around his mother as long as he needed to be. All cats need. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's it's mostly a sign of happiness. They, it's, when they're content, they need. So and like, it's a way of saying that they love you. Yeah, and it's a strange way of saying that, but that's just... I think it's are. another way to, um, to mark their territory on you, like when they rub on you, mm -hmm. because their paws sweat too, so yeah. they're getting their scent on you. Why are cats afraid of cucumbers? There's your proof. They aren't. Yeah, they aren't. <laughs> yeah, I mean, those videos that you see, that's because they just snuck something strange behind their cats, and then they're like, oh my gosh, there's something that wasn't there before. Yeah, like, you I can mean, do that with anything. No. So. Spirit, spirit loves cucumbers. Who wouldn't be freaked out if something all of a sudden was yeah. behind them? It's okay. Why are cats so mean? Well, that kind of goes back to their childhood and their nature, the, depending on how cats raise. The more attention they get when they're little, the... Or, well, really it depends, because just on the cat, because even the ones that were attention deprived, they might be looking for attention when they're older. Um, but also if they were raised to be mean, then... That's just, they're going to be mean. Or if they're scared of you, like if something bad happened to them. Or territorial, but usually I don't think they would be mean to humans so much. They would just mark their territory. Why are cats curious? Nature. It's just kind of in their nature and then they need to just l learn about their surroundings especially when it comes to food so here come hold the cat because why are cats so cute because they are because of the way their face is structured and the way they curl up and they're all soft Why are cats cute? Spirit, why are you cute? Oh, you're so cute! So cute! A little fluff ball. So, why are cats cute? Because they are. You know, I'm curious. What does Google say about that. About what? Cats being so cute. Why are cats so cute? Cats have a unique kind of cuteness. They show affection through their large green eyes. They depict playfulness by chasing laser lights and toy spiders, and they become part of your home mm -hmm. by lying on their backs with their legs perched up on the chair. There you have it. Just cats are... They're, 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 and they're, they're, they're cute. They're cute! Oh, and they're very smart. At least yeah. Max is. Spirit, um, not so much sometimes, but he makes up for it in cuteness and love, and sometimes hate. But just look at that cat! Spirit, look! 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 Spirit! Buddy! The crunch is so satisfying. The bed? Come on, let's go. Go on, girls. Good boy. Yeah, show how brave you are. Show the chickens that they can go to. the trees sway is actually kind of scary. Last year we had a storm like this and <laughs> a tree down there split in half.
Oh no, you didn't want to leave Papa behind. She can fly, she's fine. Good boys! Thank you! So well behaved. Girls, go into a coop, okay? Oh, buddy. Girls, keep going, keep going, keep going. No, no, no. Go into the coop, okay? Go on. Go on. Go into the coop. There goes Hopper. Come on girls, you got this. And hit him boys. Go boys. How's that? You hiding back there? Night guys. There are ducks back there, aren't there, Freckles? You protecting the ducks? Is that what you're doing? <laughs>